on the faculty of the University of California, Davis, in the Department of Wildlife, Fish, uh, Fish and Conservation Biology. Well, people are, are really obsessed with sharks. Some people are very frightened, particularly people who've never been in the ocean and actually seen them. And if you enter the water and you can't breathe and you don't kick very well, and here's this huge animal that's at home. So it is frightening to some people. Seal is a, a power bar to a shark because, and, and particularly the young ones, because they go out into the Pacific and they eat a lot and they come back with um, over half their body mass is fat. But if you take a seal and you take a chainsaw and you, brrr, you cut it in half, okay, and you look at a cross section of the seal, uh, you see that the fat is all around and you just have a small and you can remove it it's almost like a toupee and fat has twice the energy value of muscle and 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 I think that is so important to to do these sharks that have to elevate their body temperatures the general characteristics of a great white shark is that they're not white that their back is very dark uh, yes, their underside is white, so we call it, people call it white shark. But in reality, they're moving along the bottom. They need a rocky background where their back, their dark back matches, and they're cryptic predators. So hence, when there are attacks, rare attacks on surfers, it's because surfers tend to look for a rocky ridge because the waves break farther away from shore are bigger, well, that's the wrong place to be because that's where a shark would be cryptic unseen. So that explains some of the attacks on humans. The beach weather is outstanding. So people are coming to the beach. Unfortunately, though, we have a beach closure. And the reason is we have had a second sighting of what we think is a great white shark. We've done a little uh, conference with uh, one of the scientists at UC Davis, and he's uh, told us he thinks it's probably the same shark, 14-foot uh, great white, so everything's closed down, which is our standard operating procedure. It's a lifeguard's decision, by the way. I mean, I just gave them advice. It's really their decision in the end. So they wanted to talk to somebody that knew a little bit about white sharks and, and describe what they had seen. I don't think people really need to be worried about sharks in Southern California. You know, the bulk of shark attacks are not because a shark wants to eat you, it's because it's really afraid of you. And if you've ever seen a cat that's frightened, that it bares its teeth and it arches its back and it wrecks its, its, its hair, well, sharks have an aggressive display where they pull their pectorals down, they open their mouth, move it back and forth, arch their back. If you get too close to them, then they'll bite you, but they don't eat you. They don't remove a, a bite and they move off. The likelihood of your encountering a shark in Southern California is like being hit by lightning. Twice, not once, but twice. That's how rare it would be. Lifeguard Southern California. Watch Thursdays at 9, only on the Weather Channel.